Let's talk about the structured programming theory. The structured programming theory says that all algorithms that you can think of can be specified using the constructs sequence, selection and iteration. In the more formal sense you can say everything that you can possibly compute can be specified with those constructs. And we look into those constructs and each of these constructs basically gives us an idea how we can compose more complicated operations from more elementary operations. Okay? So we can compose, for example, out of individual actions a sequence of actions. And then we can insert selections or iterations and so on. Let's look into each of these constructs in detail. So what is sequence? Sequence just means to perform one step after another. And each of these steps is executed in a specific sequence. For example, I could specify do this, then do this, and then do this. And so I will always do it in this order. First this, then this, and this. We can also use numbering. If you have, for example, the problem that you are thirsty, you could say, well, first open the fridge, secondly take the milk, and third drink the milk. Well, that would solve the problem. So it is the designer of the algorithm that decides about such an order. And of course it depends on the algorithm if you can change the order and it will still work. In this case you cannot drink the milk first before you open the fridge or you take the milk. There are cases when you can reorder some of these actions a little bit without changing the outcome. Okay? But keep in mind it's the designer of the algorithm that always defines those individual steps and composes them using those three constructs sequence, selection and iteration. And I repeat this a lot because it's so fundamental that you have to understand it. So let's talk about selection. It's a decision-making construct. So you can make yes, no or true, false decisions logically. So you can think for example about it like saying if something is true then take this action otherwise you take that action. For example if it rains then take a raincoat and an umbrella else well take neither. Right? We could also say else for example, take a sunbath. You often talk about conditional statements in programming language and we mean selection in regards to the structured programming theorem. So they are often used a bit interchangeably. Don't get confused. Conditional statement basically is a selection. And the third construct is iteration. It means to repeat something. So it's a looping construct. You have a sequence of actions that you want to repeat various times based on a decision. There are two types of iterations that you can do. You can do an ex explicit numbering, which means you can say repeat this five times. Or you can say repeat this x times, where x is the age of a person. Right? For example, I have want to prepare a birthday cake. Well, place x number of um, lights on it where x is the age of a person, right? Well, that seems to make sense. So we have explicit numbering and implicit numbering. So you can say while something is true, keep doing this, otherwise stop. For example, I could say while someone passes by, hand out a little sheet of paper. And you would use this out for an exit or uh, next to the lecture hall, right? To hand out, for example, a couple of information sheets to the students, okay?